On PlayStation 4, you really didn't have wide variety of choice if you were looking for some racing simulators. Until now. Neo Network brings you the top 5 PS4 upcoming racing games of 2016. Number 5 Sebastian Liberali Evo Sebastian Liberali Evo offers a reasonably well-rounded package including quick races, a carrier mode, complete rallies and individual challenges within the loop experience. The latter offers 27 events to play through the career of the greatest rally champion of all time. There is a whole new series of video interviews with the likable Frenchman. In addition to these challenges, we find rallies from Monte Carlo, San Remo, Sweden, Finland, Mexico, Australia and Wales. The driving surface changes often and with it the driving experience. Dripping wet gravel in Wales is very different from the dry, dusty Aussie deserts or icy slushes from Swedish forest paths. The simulation can be felt even when using only standard PS4 controller. The driving experience is implemented properly and the changing road surfaces bring substantially different handling characteristics with them. There is no question that the game is extremely difficult to master. Unfortunately, the graphics during gameplay are not quite where they should be to keep up with the likes of Dirt Rally. Sometimes the cars look as if they are floating on the top of the road. The audio side of things is decent but hardly offers any real variation. It feels in some places as if only a single set of sounds for each car is being used and looped eternally. Bastia Le Rally Evo is a well-made rally simulation with enough content, although it's hard to see the end result being on par with Dirt Rally. However, there is still some time until Codemasters game hits consoles, so if you want a new rally game in the meantime, you might want to consider having this a go. Number 4. Trackmania Turbo Trackmania Turbo is a racing video game by Ubisoft. Announced at E3 2015, the title is the first Trackmania game that is set to be released on consoles since 2009's Trackmania V. The game will also feature support for virtual reality. The game was originally set to be released in November 2015, but was delayed to the early 2016 so as to give additional time to the development team to further polish the game. Trackmania Turbo features gameplay like you could see in the previous games in the series. The player can race on over 200 different tracks across four different locations, namely Roller Coaster Lagoon, International Stadium, Canyon Grand Drift, and Wally Down and Dirty. Similar to previous games, the game moves at a very high pace with a high focus on stunts. Various modes are set to appear in the game, including a campaign and the mode called Double Driver, which is a cooperative multiplayer mode in which two players are controlling the same car. Trackmania Turbo will also have a split-screen multiplayer mode for up to four players, which makes it the first racing game with such gameplay for the PlayStation 4. Track editor from previous games also returns, which allows players to create own tracks and share to other players. A new addition to the track editor is its ability to generate random tracks. A new feature introduced to the franchise is systemic music, which ties the soundscape to the gameplay, which dynamically intensifies, heightens or lessens the music to fit with the gameplay. Number 3. Assetto Corsa One of the most authentic racing simulators is coming to PS4. Assetto Corsa ups the simulation stakes by emphasizing and focusing on pure physics realism with precision accuracy across every aspect from meticulous NASCAR handling to the laser measure tracks. Standout stars of the game are of course the cars themselves. Assetto Corsa has partnered with the most prestigious automotive manufacturers to license the lifelike model of the genre's biggest stars from Ferrari to Fiat, from McLaren to Mercedes and from Lamborghini to Lotus. Players are able to further deepen their playing experience by adjusting the handling and race setups of each and every car in game, whereby cars can be individually tuned to cater for your personal racing style. The overall racing experience can be further modified by adjusting everything from driver attributes to collision damage to deliver a thrilling and truly racing experience. All of these features together breed the realism that Assetto Corsa is known and celebrated for. Making its console debut in 2016, Assetto Corsa will bring specific features such as over 100 high-performance cars, including Team Lotus 98T, the Pagani Zonda R, the Ferrari, Mercedes C9, 
and the McLaren MP4 12C GT3. Over 20 different tracks configurations, including famed courses such as Silverstone Circuit, Circuit de Spa Francochamps, Autodromo Nazionale Monza, and Nürburgring Nordschleife. Single and multiplayer racing modes with customizable race weekends, preset, challenges, or full scale carry mode are also available. Seto Corsa will be making its PS4 debut in the first half of 2016. Number 2 Dirt Rally Dirt Rally is more than just the best Coldmasters rally game to date. It's arguably the best racing game Coldmasters has produced in at least a decade. Perhaps ever. It's certainly the best crack at a hardcore rally game since 2004's heavily worshipped Richard Burns Rally. It's just brilliant. Dirt Rally sheds the showmanship of past installments and shifts the series back to pure and forgiving rallying. There is no rewindability and no quarter given by the game's opponents. Dirt Rally doesn't care if you're too slow. It's not going to give you a pat on the bum and a free ride to first place if you can't keep up. To rule Dirt Rally you need to be fast, you need to be focused and you need to be fearless. Dirt Rally's wheel controls are very satisfying and the force feedback just feels awesome. It's a great looking game too, the vehicles themselves are far more detailed than in the previous Coldmasters Rally games and the stage design is excellent. Better still is the sound, which I honestly can't fault. Exhaust notes are a violent symphony of snarls, crackles and pops. Dirt Rally really nails everything from the whine of a turbo or the squeal of the protesting brakes. The pace notes too have an incredibly authentic beat to them, feeling unique to each stage rather than a cut and pasted barrage of commands lifted from a virtual soundboard. There are 39 cars available, ranging from the 1960s classics to today's competitors. Aside from a few obvious exceptions, Dirt Rally covers most of the sport's most iconic vehicles. There's a great deal of variety in the rally locations, ranging from the huge jumps and high-speed gravel straights of Finland to incredibly rough gravel farm tracks of Greece, and from the lush green countryside of Germany to the icy roads of Sweden with its stages carved through the snow drifts. Dirt Rally is really a brilliant looking and incredible sounding racing simulator that feels absolutely outstanding, but it won't tolerate the timid. And number 1. Gran Turismo Sport Gran Turismo Sport is an upcoming racing video game by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation 4. It is the 13th game overall in the Gran Turismo video game series. But this game is a separate standalone entry and it's not part of the main numbered series. GT Sport will include three game modes, Campaign, Sports Mode and Arcade Mode. Both offline and online racing will feature in the game. The game has been described as different from the product titles seen in the past in the series and will feature more content. Gran Turismo Sport will be fully compatible with Sony Computer Entertainment's upcoming virtual reality headset, PlayStation VR. Unfortunately, the exact release date is not specified yet. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. Give a thumbs up if you're also happy about these upcoming games. Also, I would like you to tell me in the comments what is your ranking look like? What is your absolute number one? Furthermore, if you want to see contents from me in the future, make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.